a topic for you and uh, the topic that I'll be discussing is CA rectum and it's a very important topic as far as surgery is concerned for all the examinations uh, we often get questions on CA rectum and that's a very tough topic why it's tough because a lot of things need to be understood and if that basic concept of CA rectum is clear it becomes a lot not easy so let let me see let me evaluate the concept of CA rectum whenever you have a patient of uh, CA rectum carcinoma rectum the first thing that you need to evaluate is where is the cancer like uh, so the first thing that you need to know is where is the cancer that is location and location with respect to anal verge or uh, with respect to with or you can say res location from anal verge why this anal verge is important because we know that the only management is surgery but will be will we be able to save the sphincter or not that is important so we need to see how far or how proximal it is to what the sphincter complex so location from the anal verge there could be two possible answers for this one is within 5 cm within 5 cm and another is distance more than 5 cm from anal verge you know what is important if the distance is more than 5 cm from anal verge the answer is that we will be successful in saving the sphincter so if it is within 5 cm you have to go for a sphincter sacrificing surgery you have to go for a sphincter sacrificing surgery and i hope you know we know we call it what apr abdominal perineal resection that is what is known as apr and what is apr abdomino perineal resection abdomino perineal resection let me highlight why it is abdomino perineal resection but before that i'll just finish this part that if it is more than 5 cm from the anal verge you go for sphincter preserving surgery you go for sphincter preserving surgery so this is the difference between the for the tumors which are less than 5 cm from the anal verge versus tumors which are more than now students before we discuss what is the concept of sphincter preserving we will discuss what is sphincter uh, sacrificing apr do you know when we talk about apr we also have to do a permanent colostomy also permanent colostomy so apr is always complemented with permanent colostomy so let me explain you the concept of apr when you why it is known as apr abdominal perineal resection because suppose this is the bowel large colon and here it's the rectum now and then it is the anal verge yeah this is the patient imagine this is the patient yeah okay so half of the surgery the first incision that we make today we are doing a lap lar lap apr sorry but yes the traditional approach was in both of them the first approach is always from the abdominal side when you have to remove the complete rectum and the anal canal majority of the part up to the pelvic diaphragm is removed from the abdominal incision and then you change the position of the patient to prone position so patient is like this now this is the patient and then you complete the remaining surgery via what perineal incision and at the end when you have removed the complete rectum and anal canal you suture close this anus and that is why this is a combination this is abdominal approach this is perineal approach and that is why it is known as abdomino perineal and what you are doing you are doing resection and that is why it is known as apr now the question is now how will the stool pass out of the body when you have closed the 
anal opening so for that reason you make a permanent colostomy over the body you make a permanent colostomy over the body and this is what is the basic 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 concept of what epr with colostomy so this is a permanent colostomy now let me explain you the concept of sphincter preserving surgeries now let us go to the column of sphincter preserving surgeries